I think just competing, man. Um, you know, DB is one of those positions to where you go through highs and lows. It's a it's a position where you got to have a lot of respect for what you're doing in the field, and um, you got to have the utmost confidence in your ability. So just for, for the guys to come out and compete, um, guys make plays, you make plays, and you just keep on keep on lining up with that confidence. And to see young guys consistently step up and just make plays um, from the ones, twos, threes, it was it was big. Good to see. Yeah, I love it. Um, Cause I mean, you just get out there and you just play ball. You just play what you see, um, and, you know. And even that, that's a little bit different from a game. Cause from a game, you got film that you can go out there and watch and stuff like that. But just from a a technique standpoint, there's no film, no knowledge of what they do. You just line up, play your technique, and uh, trust that your technique is gonna allow you to make plays. So just being able to get out here and do that was definitely good for us. Uh, he's been good. I mean, I haven't watched him the last two days just from being on different fields, but just just making throws, man. I think I remember the other day he made an out route on me, which that pisses me off. But, like, just to see him be able to put those throws in spots that DBs can't get it. And, uh, you know, I think that's the, the good NFL quarterbacks. That's what separates a lot of times college from the NFL. Quarterbacks can put the ball to where a defensive bat, no matter how good the coverage is, you just can't get to it. So to see him just have the confidence to make those type of throws, to throw them, and things like that. It's been been good to see. Uh, yeah, I was, but it was one of those for me. I was shooting nothing I can do better. He made a good throw, and uh, you know, you make you make quarterbacks try to make those type of throws, and he made them. So to see him make those type of throws, that's going to be good for us on Sundays. Yeah, just just good talent, man. Just veteran guys. Um, you know, even Odell just going up with him, just certain moves that he makes at the top of his routes. If you have good coverage, he'll give you an extra move to kind of sell it. And, you know, I think just them kind of just learning each other, feeling each other, you can definitely definitely see it. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm sure they're going to have a good year, both both good players. Um, so it was, it was fun to get out there and go out and compete against them. Uh, I mean, I'm, I've always been a big fan of Cam, man. He's just an overall good football player. He can make plays all around the field. Um, so for me, it was nothing that I haven't expected from him, nothing that I feel like he hasn't put out on tape over these last three years. So for me, he's just coming out being the same Cam Curl, and that's all we need him to do. Including the first time you were here, is this the deepest, the most talented defensive back group you've been with? Um, I mean, yeah. I mean, it's early right now. I think my second year we had a pretty deep group too. But, you know, ultimately – all that to tell once we get out there on Sundays and go out there and make plays. So, you know, preseason is, is good to prepare, but, you know, nothing nothing matters until you got there every Sunday and make plays. Kendall, going up against the Ravens as a team, did you feel like maybe you guys like grew closer and bonded in these last two days to the playoffs? Uh, yeah. I mean, anytime you go against, you know, guys that aren't your teammates, you got to come together. Um, come together and you just – always giving each other encouragement, speaking positivity over one another. So uh, I think it definitely brought us together as a team and something that we definitely enjoyed. Two more. Does this whole like 10 day period of the Cleveland game, this, another game, does this really like sort of a, a way to accelerate the progress of all that competition as well? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's camp. That's what you want camp to do. You want competition, uh, you want to get better. And I think, you know, having the preseason game, having these, Having these joint practices, it, it, it allows for more competition um, and it allows us to get better. It allows us to, to get against the different offenses, learn things about us that we may not have known, learn things about other offenses around the league. So it's definitely helpful for us. How does uh, embracing that first week of the game, like that kind of your rhythm prepare for the next uh, Not at all. Uh, I don't think me missing one series is going to really affect that. I mean, we've gone through, I've gone through. I think my first and second year playing a lot in the preseason. Um, really, your whole rookie contract, you play a lot in the preseason. Second contract, not not too much. I think our first year here, we didn't have preseason at all. I think that was COVID year and things like that. So uh, we definitely still have other games. I think really just to get your routine for pregame and stuff like that. So we've been practicing so much, having these joint practices, I, I don't think it'll affect it. Awesome. Thanks, Kendall. Yep. Appreciate it.